particular video is going to be taping uh, the arch or the bottom of the foot. Um, arch problems are very common uh, with athletes uh, just because they're on their feet a lot and they're running around and many times they're not in the uh, typical shoes that they'd be wearing on a daily basis. Uh, so there's a variety of different ways that you can do that. One is through taping and there's a number of different uh, arch taping techniques that you can use. Uh, one is what's called the low die arch taping. Uh, it's one of the more common ones uh, that we use. Um, it's the one that we're going to be uh, teaching you today. Another option though is to uh, look at uh, fabricated arch supports. Uh, so these are um, uh, kind of go on the right and the left uh, shoe, fairly easy to um, kind of place in. They're not super bulky um, and they're e very cheap and uh, fairly inexpensive. So less than $20, you can slide these in. And what they do is they create a nice firm um, arch support in the shoe. Um, they can wear these all day long and take them out, put them in whatever shoe that they want to. So many times this is a good option as well. But sometimes these become a little bit more problematic in a tighter shoe, like a cleat. Uh, so they, they might be great for basketball shoes or running shoes, but not necessarily ideal for um, other athletic shoes. That's why the low die arch taping um, is gonna be beneficial. But they, many times they do the same thing, so they um, work on, uh, around the same principle, which is it really puts uh, support underneath that medial longitudinal arch, which again is many times problematic. Um, so that's the skill that we're gonna do is the low die arch taping. So with the low arch taping, one of the things that we want to make sure is that the athlete is in a uh, proper position. So for this particular taping, we want the leg off the edge of the table in just a nice kind of relaxed position. Uh, the ankle taping, we had them in that uh, dorsiflex position. This we just want nice and loose because we don't want it to be too tight when he steps down. So once he's in the proper position, we want to make sure that we prep the area. This particular taping, ideally, ideally you would use your, uh, um, your tough skin. Uh, we would ask him, um, some people have allergic reactions to that. This particular one, we're gonna be, oh, you know, we're not gonna use it, but uh, normally um, it's nice to be able to use it just because it helps the pre-wrap um, not uh, slide around too much. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our pre-wrap. We're just gonna put one small loop around the foot. We don't want to do too much because it does, we don't want it to be too bulky. So we just place that on there right around kind of the, the mid arch. So when you're looking for your landmarks, you just kind of want to take a look at the tip of the navicular and then the base of uh, the first metatarsal and right in the middle is where we want to place it because if we get our tape up and down a little bit too much, then it can really constrict down on the foot in areas that are actually going to be very painful for the athlete. So once we have our pre-wrap, we're all set to apply our tape. So the first uh, piece that we're gonna do is similar to other ankle tapings, we're gonna do some anchors. So this particular one has a little bit of a unique anchor in the fact that we're gonna use half strips. So we're gonna place, uh, tear the tape in half, and we're gonna place our strip from the pinky toe all the way around the foot and come down towards the base of the first metatarsal, right into here, just like that. We're going to do a second piece similar to that. We're going to go and overlap it by about half just so we can create a little bit of a wider base for uh, that anchor. So that way when we place our tape, it keeps the um, tape from sliding around and keeps it more secure right in this particular place. So now we're going to do our pieces for the arch. So we're going to take one piece of tape. We're going to go from one anchor on the back side all the way around to the other side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna press underneath the bottom of the foot and then pull that tight. And what that's going to do is that is going to pull that arch up into a medial position. So that way when he steps down, it's gonna hold that into place. I don't go all the way across the top. I don't wanna secure it down and go all the way around because that's gonna cut off circulation because when he steps down, his foot's gonna expand and we don't wanna cut off that circulation. So I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna overlap that by half. Again, pull and secure that up and do one more. So that way I cover the entire arch. Again, not going all the way around. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape over the top so that way I can secure it down so those pieces don't flap around. This particular one, I didn't even need to use three strips because I had enough um, to cover. 
You'll notice that there's these little um, side tabs here. I can either rip these off or cut them off with the scissors. Makes it nice and easy to be able to do just so it doesn't get caught on shoes and socks when they put it on. Once that's, once that's good and secure, I want to ensure that there's no wrinkles, that there's no uh, gaps. Make sure that it doesn't cut off any circulation, so squeeze his toes, make sure that um, everything's functioning okay. And then with this particular tape job, it's very important for them to step down, because when they step down, again, that foot's gonna expand, and you don't want to, the tape to split or rip or tear when they do that, so go ahead and have them uh, step down. If it feels too tight, we could redo it. What we really are looking for is we're looking for a nice, secure, um, and uh, supportive uh, tape job to support the arch. So when he's running around, uh, we don't have any issues. So that's our low die arch taping.